Hello there, welcome to a God is a Geek hands-on preview of Trinity Fusion from Angry Mob Games. This is a 2D action RPG with a pretty cool concept in which you play an individual called the Hitchhiker who has the ability to hop between three alternate versions of herself. The upshot of this is a roguelite action game with three distinct paths and three different characters, each with their own abilities who share XP and upgrades even as you jump between them. What's not entirely clear at this point though is how, or why for that matter. I've spent a few hours with the Trinity Fusion closed beta both on PC and on Steam Deck and while I can tell you that what I've sampled plays really, really well, I can't tell you a whole lot more. It's a 2D action game with a roguelite loop but from what I've seen there are no Metroidvania elements. Each of the three incarnations of the Hitchhiker play differently. While basic movement and combat feel the same, they all have unique abilities. There's Altara, who wields a melee weapon and a magical spell. She can double jump and has got a little drone that you can move independently of her to teleport to hard to reach areas. Then you've got Nera, who wields a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. She can wall jump up narrow passageways and double jump, but doesn't have a traversal gizmo like her transdimensional sisters. And finally, you can choose Kira, who's entirely melee focused and can't double jump, but uses an energy leash to swing from grapple points or pull her enemies to Towards her. Slightly disappointingly, each character has her own separate campaign path. While this game seems ideally designed for something like Trine, where you can hop from body to body to tackle obstacles and take on bosses and solve puzzles, the action's limited by its own core concept. You have to play each level a certain way with a certain character, and that's that. The only time you can switch between them is at the boss fight, but the main boss in the beta doesn't have any particular abilities or obstacles that require a particular talent. You just chip away at its ridiculous health bar while trying to avoid being squashed in about three hits. Which brings me to my main issue with Trinity Fusion. At this stage, it just doesn't feel all that balanced, and that's not me complaining, it's too hard for me. It's most similar in combat design to, say, Dead Cells. There's a huge variety of enemies and lots of weapons, but the Hitchhiker has almost no defensive capabilities or options to build that way. You can collect blue orbs that allow you to unlock permanent psychic upgrades shared by all three avatars, one of which is Regain. This activates a passive trait borrowed from Bloodborne, which allows you to regenerate a coloured portion of your health bar by landing quick retaliatory attacks. However, the window's unbelievably tight, the regenerated percentage far too stingy, and most enemy attacks have a knockback or stagger effect that means you simply can't land a follow-up attack quick enough. Aside from that, all you can do is slide through enemies, which, yeah, it grants iframes, but it's less useful when you're facing multiple enemies with wildly different attack patterns all on a 2D plane. I like a challenge and I love this genre, but this just isn't quite balanced enough. It's all compacted a bit by the fact that you start with such a tiny health pool and while it can be extended, pickups are rare. You can find one use health kits among other secondary items like dash upper cuts and such, but they often return only 10 or 25% of your health. At present, Trinity Fusion is still very young though. This is only a closed beta after all. It's lacking a bit of variety in terms of run specific buffs and its universe really needs context. That'll all come with a full release, I'm sure, but it doesn't help at this stage. Perhaps most importantly though, is that it feels really great to play. The characters move well, combat is relatively simple, and there's a ton of different weapons even at this stage, and each character looks amazing. The game's gorgeous. The various stages reflect strong, singular themes like a factory or a rocky tundra or a cyberpunk alien city, and character design is striking, and there's a huge selection of enemies already, from huge alien beasts to deadly machines and robots. If nothing else, Trinity Fusion has certainly got my attention. It needs some work, but if Angry Mob can stick the landing when it releases in 2023, it could be a great addition to the genre. If you enjoyed that preview, please hit like and subscribe and maybe tag that bell icon too so you never miss a video from us going forward. And if you want to support us via Patreon, we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. In the meantime, I've been Fraser for God is a Geek and that was a little hands-on preview of Trinity Fusion from Angry Mob Games. And you guys have been lovely. Bye.